Alright guys welcome back with me with another YouTube video. Something extraordinary was shown in chapter 1032 yesterday, where we saw the epic battle between King and Zoro. In the chapter we saw how King managed to withstand all attacks from Zoro. For example he defended against Tatsumaki's technique by using his wings as a shield. In fact, King was also not injured or exhausted in the face of Zoro. But before we start this video, please smash that like button. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please subscribe and click notification bell or you will miss future anime videos. The Tatsumaki technique is a technique used to injure Kaido before. This is the big question for Zoro and also the fans about what King really is and how he can be so strong. Even in chapter 1032 yesterday Zoro asked if all of King's power came from his Zoan dinosaur power. King himself didn't dispute this, but he went on to say that his level of power was far above that of a dinosaur Zoan user, and maybe even a dragon. This is what then raises the big question. What exactly makes King so strong? What is the secret so that he can survive Zoro's attacks? As all of you may have guessed, all the awesomeness that King possesses has something to do with his origins. Although there has been no official confirmation, King is strongly suspected to be part of the Lunarian race, which is said to be a race or clan of gods. There is an interesting thing about this King character. Although Zoro said he had never seen King fly in his human form, it is possible that he had done so when fighting against Sanji, who was trying to protect Mamo no Shuke. What's also interesting about King is that if you pay attention, when he is in his hybrid form, no fire appears on his back. However, when King returned to his human form, the flames on the back of his body reappeared. Does that mean that the flames on the back of his body have a big influence on King's strength or defense? It could be, as explained earlier, that the Lunarian race is a race capable of controlling fire. It means that fire becomes a part of them. It's not impossible that the fire in King's body is connected to the increase in his strength and endurance. When the fire on the back of King's body appears or lights up, then King will be a figure that is difficult to beat as shown in chapter 1032 yesterday, where Zoro looked very difficult to face King. If indeed the fire is the source of power, or the source of the increase in King's strength, the next question is how can Zoro extinguish the fire, so that King's strength does not increase? This is still a big question. Perhaps the enormous hockey energy could be the solution. In chapter 1032 yesterday, we could see the strangeness of Enma's sword when he heard the sound of the Sumi San instrument. Enma suddenly sucked Zoro's hockey. Maybe this can be a clue for Zoro to give all his hockey to Enma to attack King. How Kazuki Odin was able to injure Kaido with both swords coated in hockey, hints that perhaps by using a large amount of hockey, King will be able to be defeated or at least be injured. Another possibility is that fire and increasing King's power are two different things. It could be that what happened to King was a combination of the abilities of the Lunarian race and also the abilities of the Zoan Devil Fruit, which as we all know has an advantage in terms of increasing physical strength. So, it seems natural that then the awesomeness of the Lunarian race and King unites with the awesomeness of the Zoan Devil Fruit and makes anyone who tries to fight it will have trouble, as Zoro is facing now. What do you think? 